beautiful morning here in Los Angeles. Welcome to MTV Cribs California edition. <laughs> What's going on everyone? We're on the car ride to the airport right now. Um, we're gonna be landing in LAX, I think at what time tonight? What time I think it's gonna be like nine o'clock Pacific time, so that's pretty cool. Absolutely. First time that the whole team is going to California together, so that's gonna be awesome. We have some things to do. There's gonna be a Rolling Loud Festival, of course. There's the big yay appearance on the Thursday night. That's gonna be hype. Um, we're gonna be seeing some of our friends at TDE and just chilling out with, with all the boys. Absolutely. Shout out to Dab driving right now. What's going on, How guys? How you feeling, Dab? Hype, bro. Beautiful morning here in Los Angeles. Um, last time you guys saw us, we were in Montreal, so. If you uh, wanna come through, look at that, look how beautiful that is. All right, so we're on our way um, to Atomic Records in Burbank. Super excited to see the spot. Apparently it's a really well-known record store in the city, so I'm excited. Do you guys have anything you want to call? At least for you guys in back, is there anything you're looking for or no? Some, uh, some Dua Lipa records, yeah. Next one is some Dua, Dua Lipa. Yeah. Honestly, for me, the fun of like, one of a my own shop is just discovering new records and not necessarily even copying them, like just seeing what's out there and uh, Again, using it as sort of like a discovery tool, so I'm excited for that, to be honest. So what, are you just gonna pick up a random vinyl? I'm not, I'm not gonna buy the vinyl, bro, just to see what there is. Like, That's if true. I, if I see a cover, or like a title, but or what's like, like a... What's the one vinyl, like if you see this vinyl? If I see it, I have, have to, to fucking buy it. Yeah, you're gonna grab it. I mean, like, maybe Ready to Die by Biggie, like if yeah. I see that... We don't have that vinyl. No, we only have the Life we don't After have Death. It. We only have Life After Death, like uh, 25th year anniversary edition. So... so. And then, yeah, after Atomic Records, we're also going to head to a smoke shop um, right in Burbank for some cigars. Alex, who's behind the camera, is a big cigar smoker, so am I, so I'm excited to pick up some cigars. We should call from my dad, actually. I'm going to get some from my father. We're here in front of Atomic Records, and as you can see, it's uh, it's been closed. It's been shut down, but Google told us otherwise, so... This door right here, just get this door. This is when you know it's open. <laughs> You have the garage come down, it's over. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so now, I mean, uh, what can we do? We got a Jeanette Bras? Oh, the record store is there. Can you guys talk? These guys are fucking talking to an empty wall. <laughs> what were you looking for? Because we obviously, we didn't come out with anything this time. Uh, but that's kind of always the beauty about crate digging. You don't necessarily know what you're going to get. Sometimes you're going to leave empty-handed. So was there anything that you were eyeing? I didn't really like, go into it, like trying to buy anything, to be honest. But I did see some cool records. There was uh, some old U2 records. Mm -hmm. They had Queen's News of the World. I even saw like an Elton John record, which had like a cool cover. It was him like watching a sunset, playing the piano. So I might spin that record like on Spotify, sadly, not on the actual record player. But what was really cool was that they had a whole wall dedicated to like DVDs and box sets. So they really cool. kept like the old media like Sorry. format alive throughout the whole store through film and music. So I was looking at a couple of Bob Seger records. Um, some Bob Seger, yeah. I was going through. Uh, also some Led Zeppelin records that they had over there, that was really cool. Buddy, buddy, so, in case you didn't know, this is Rodeo Drive. Right back in Rodeo. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro! <laughs>
connection, the boys decided that they were not down for sushi for some weird reason. Um, they'd rather go eat at Shake Shack. So Alex and I said, fuck it. Let's get a nice cold beer. Let's go to Sapporo. Let's get some rolls going. Let's get some full. So they're definitely missing out right now just looking at this. Alex, which one do you want to tag first? What do you got? I go with the tuna, bro. Do the tuna? Yeah, it's the tuna. Bro, they, they fucked up, bro. That looks incredible. Bro, this is my first time ever having ramen. It is? I've never had ramen before. Bro, look how beautiful that looks. Wow. Welcome to MTV Cribs California edition. What is going on? We've got huge mansions in the hills. One hour. An hour and three minutes away, Luke. I don't know. You're actually We're actually gonna go check out Bob. So what do you do? What do you actually do? I'm not gonna leave out in the morning. Yeah, I left that. But he was early morning traffic. That, that was out of here. He sent us a video on the group chat. We're fucking crossing through the LA Marathon. And he's just looking, he's sitting in his super simple. He's pointing the camera at people. Bro, that looking was at the it. first guys away. Oh, good. for sure. After yesterday night, though, I don't know how he did it. What time did we get home at? Right well, you guys went to bed right away. Yeah. Right away, bro. Like instant like, kill. It's three. It was three. Out bro, three. we got home at three. The club, the club no, closed no, up. We got home way early. Two, three. No, I was up for a couple hours. I yeah, yeah. I saw oh, so my cousin. So you guys went to bed at 5 a.m. Yeah. Sheesh. 8 a.m. Uh, no, I was, I was, I was listening. I was really under the influence, so I just had to like sit back. Under the influence of what? I think uh, by any chance. <laughs> no, just those gin tonics and those Negronis that we have. That's yeah, it. No, same. The Negronis, absolutely. <laughs> no, it's like, up. Slammy. There's no way. But okay, so what are we doing? What are we gonna do? Yeah, I just want to think. Shot. I just want to figure out. <laughs> we have the shot ready. What do you think? I gotta go meet up with DiCaprio on the roof with the choppers. Hi. Hi. Are you ready for the shoot, Alex? We got the casting couch right here. You're gonna be Actually, having. Let's show what we picked up at Supreme. Oh, wow. Nick, you wanna come show? <laughs> this Maradona show. I'm, I'm gonna let Nick take care of this. He'll go for it. Uh, so far, I picked up just a fresh pair of SBs. These are come. They're really clean. They're beautiful. You know, if you guys are if you guys are like watching, let's say from New York or Los Angeles, I'm not gonna fuck with the paper. Um, these are probably a lot like very accessible for you guys, but in Montreal it's hard to be able to just find like a fresh pair of standard SBs, um, especially at 115. So we stopped by the Supreme store and picked that up. Uh, Nick got something crazy. So. This is a must, cost voice. Yeah, this. Look at that. No drugs, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Stay away from drugs. We're actually doing our first NFR photo shoot today, which is pretty exciting. I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like. It's totally brand new to us and uh, it's for our merchandise that's coming up. I know you guys are super excited about it. We're excited about it, so let's go check it out. So yeah, we just ended up finishing the merchandise shoot. It was super sick. Um, we ended up taking more or less between like 50 to 60 different flicks, um, just of us in different poses and that sort of stuff for the merchandise. We're not gonna tell you guys exactly what the merchandise is yet. Um, we're gonna wait on that, but it's gonna be coming soon. Um, we're super excited to drop it. But what was your favorite shot for today? What did you favorite get? Favorite shot, I think it was the one that had Nick sort of like breaking us apart. Yeah, that was really yeah, cool, but yeah. it was dope because we got to shoot some on digital, some on film. So there's gonna be like different aesthetics to the photos and whatnot. So yeah. shout out to Mihalo, did a gun, an amazing job. Absolutely, should we introduce him, bro? Come in, yeah, come through. Come say what's up. Come say what's up. Yeah, yeah this is How are you? Very good. Great so, yeah. you today with the guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So we were doing a bunch of different types of like different shots yeah. and that sort of thing. So what was your favorite shot today? What did we get? I think the film ones are going to be the great ones. Yeah? yeah. Those are going to be nice They're ones? They're going to turn out great, yeah. Okay, perfect. And like just to give like sort of like a context of like maybe when this stuff is dropping. Should we give or not? No, I think we're going to wait on it. I, I think we, I think we, we go wait on it. Yeah, we, we have something special that. coming though in the pipeline. So um, Chanta Mihalo, we've been working with him for such a long time. I'm, we've mentioned your shit so many times yeah, in the yeah, podcast too. Um, very cro very close collaborator of ours, fellow Canadian, so it's always nice to be in Los Angeles. Uh, but yeah, guys, stay tuned for this, and we're actually going to Rolling Loud tonight, um, if you guys want to check that out, so stay tuned for that.
sell if you want then. Oh yeah? Right, bye. Bye. It's like steaming. It's fucking steaming. And let me ask you this. Okay, okay. What makes Rod Wave better than a Drake or an MJ? Because let me break down why Rod Wave Please. is better than Drake. Drake makes music for people who are millionaires and get hella girls. Let me ask you another one. So when you look at, let's say, certain tracks or whatever the case may be, what is the most overrated song of all time? The most overrated song of all time probably has to be some Drake track. I, I mess with Drake. He, he's artist of like, like for three decades now since I almost been alive, two decades. Any Drake song. Any Drake song. Who is the worst rapper of all time? Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Six nine. Six Sorry. nine's the worst. I can't, I can't. I can't mess with a snitch. I can't. That, that's 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 kind of an, an old take. Like it's kind of I cold. I mean, I can't think of anyone now. Everyone's fire now. Everyone's so. fire now. I would say like rappers and everyone should stop like trying to hop on the new wave, you feel me? Like cause they should just stick to what they're doing, you know, like best, you feel me? Cause okay. every time someone tries something new, like it doesn't work out most of the time. So that's why I, I don't know if on. I agree with that, Zach. People need to expand their music taste a lot more. I know like people being like certain like genres, like they go to rap shows or they just go to like different type of shows, but like And I'm gonna say Glorilla. And it's not a sexist thing because I love Lotto. I, I, I can't disagree. We're good to go. I'm here with Olivia rolling loud. She's dripped out and all pink. You're here for Nikki, I'm assuming? Obviously, it's Pink Friday. Okay, fire. First question, who's the worst rapper of all time? Worst? The worst. Oh, God. I'm honestly, controversial opinion, I'm not a fan of like the ratchet girl rappers. rapper of all time? Ooh. Of all time? Tyga. I'm not even going to Tyga? Yeah. I'm agree with her, yeah. Agree I trust her, her cause okay. I'm I'm here with Athena right now, Rolling Loud, California, and she looks like she has fantastic taste in music, so we're gonna be asking her a couple of questions today. How does that sound? Let's do it. All right, let's go with the first one. What is your most controversial music opinion? <sighs> That's tough, but do you remember, <laughs> this is gonna sound really crazy, do you remember Lonely Island? I do remember Lonely Island, Do you yes. know that song that's yes. like, 
I ate a grape and I jizzed in my pants. Yes, I like, remember I that. I fucking yeah. bumped to Lonely Island and I don't know why, but I do.